Hi Alison. Thanks for letting us see how you set up your worm farms. It's going to be really helpful for schools that are yet to do this. Now, I can see that you've got two fridge worm farms. Yes. Can you tell me why you're adding a third? Well, the students have done such a fantastic job of maintaining and running the worm farm. We've decided to add a third one so we can continue to process our food and veggie scraps, which reduces the amount that we send to landfill. Yeah, nice. And it looks like the, uh, the students are in charge of running the worm farms. Yes, they are. Our Year 6 leadership team take on the worm farm, so they're learning about sustainability issues, mm -hmm. which then they can pass on to their peers. And do you think we can go over and speak to the students about what they're doing? Most definitely. They'll love it. Okay, let's go. Now, Tori, your teachers told me that you've all done such a great job of taking care of the worm farms that you're adding in a third one. Is there a reason for that? Um, it, that's going to help us to process more of the fruit and veg scraps, so let's go to landfill. Yeah, right. And can I see some of these little little fellas? Are these um, standard earthworms? Oh uh, no, the ones we have in our tubs are um, tiger worms. Tiger worms. Yeah, right. Have you named them? This little bunch on the top here is Bobolina, and th <laughs> this tub is Nemo, and that tub over there is Bob. First, some drainage material is placed on the bottom of the worm farm and covered with geofabric. The geofabric will stop the worm castings clogging up the drainage material. Then the leachate, also known as worm whiz, will be able to easily flow into the collection bucket below the drainage hole. Next, the bedding material is spread evenly over the geofabric. In this instance, the bedding material is coir. Then worms are placed on top of the bedding material and covered with an old piece of carpet cut to size. They are left to settle in for 24 hours before feeding them. Can you tell us what you do with the worm wits? Um, typically after we sell it to parents, it will go home and they will water it down and put it in their gardens so that they can help their gardens grow and look nicer. So you're able to sell it and also you can use it around the school? Yes. And so with the, um, the worm farms, can they be put anywhere or is there specific places you need them? Uh, typically we put them in the shades because they don't like, the worms don't like the sun or the heat. And this, these are all set up and ready to go apart from this one here? Pretty much, yeah. Let me uh, take another look at these little guys. Well, now your worm farm's all set up and ready to go. For more information on how to build worm farms, head to our website and download the fact sheet. Thanks, Dory. <laughs>